A local Navy SEAL profiled in a Target 12 investigation on the alarming trends of military suicides will be remembered in a very unique way this weekend. Runners who knew him are coming from across the country, and it'd be easy to separate them from the crowd in the Newport Half Marathon. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buto has more in this week's Street Story. You won't find many runners training with five pounds of boots draped over their shoulders. I, I don't think I can even explain what those boots mean to me. And I think they're not only symbolic about for Rob, but I think for all the soldiers. Rob was guzo to just about everyone. He was a football star at Portsmouth High. When the towers fell on 9-11, Guzzo enlisted and worked his way onto SEAL Team 5, earning his trident before deploying to Iraq in 06. But when he came home, he just wasn't the same. Nightmares and flashbacks were just haunted him every night. And he just couldn't get it out of his head. Guzzo was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder on Veterans Day last year at the age of 33. Guzzo stopped his nightmares. Long battle. His mom, a Navy veteran, and his dad, who is also a SEAL, have been advocating for improvements in how the military handles PTSD. Doing its best. She tells us programs are getting better, but she predicts it'll be a long battle. We still lose 22 veterans a day. 22 veterans a day commit suicide. A team of about 50 runners will stride the 5K and half marathon course in Newport to raise money and awareness about PTSD. And one by one, they'll take turns carrying the boots. Guzzo, war in battle. It's special, it's emotional. I'm sure there's gonna be a, you know, a lot of, of tears. But I think Carrium is just gonna have him close to me and I think that that's just gonna be the motivation to keep going. Guzzo's boots will travel under the Newport sun for the final 13 miles of the marathon on the shoulders of one man who served with Guzzo on SEAL Team 5 in Iraq. On First Beach in Newport, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.